Hey guys, Pastor Bob here with my main tag team partner, Pastor Ephraim, and I wanted to say something to start off with uh, to those of you who just watch church on Sunday and basically that's how you get information from Bayside Midtown and from Ephraim and myself. I want you to know that Ephraim and I have been speaking about the tragedy that happened to George Floyd and everything that's happened after it all week long. That is basically all we have talked about. And we've talked on radio, we've talked on television, we've posted on social media, both Facebook and Instagram. Uh, I want you to know, so for some of you who only get your information on church on Sunday, uh, we edit and film everything for Sunday on the Monday before because we have so many campuses that we need to film and edit for. So we're sorry if we led you to believe that we weren't conscious of this or speaking against this atrocity uh, if you just watched our services. Also want you to know that we are having a service, an additional service for this week on Wednesday night and you can watch that. I hope you'll join us at, on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Pastor? Yeah, we also want you to know that uh, outside of the Zoom call tomorrow night, 7 p.m., Monday night, we want you to be a part of that because we're going to make some announcements. We're going to talk about some things we're celebrating and some things we're focused on as we move towards uh, worship experiences under the guidelines back in our church building. But I also want to reiterate what my tag team partners already said, and that is if you go to Instagram, the, the Midtown Instagram page, you'll, you'll see a video that I did. You'll, you'll read something that Pastor Bob did that's, that's right central to the point. Uh, we speak about this. We write about this. This is on our hearts and minds and in our ministry work every day. I want you to know that Bayside Midtown was founded by this brother right mm -hmm. here and his wife, Letty, nine years ago to be a cross-cultural, reconciling, multi-ethnic, justice-oriented church in the heart of the city, building bridges, standing for biblical justice, and making a difference. We don't wait to tragedy hits. Mm -hmm. We are doing this week in and week out. We are addressing uh, social gaps when it comes to homelessness, when it comes to racial disparities in education, when it comes to uh, dismantling the pipeline to prison mm -hmm. and opening the gateway to college, when it comes even to having tough conversations with Police Chief Han here in Sacramento who attends our church and standing with Miss Thompson, the grandmother of Steph, of, of uh, Stefan Clark, mm. who lost his life. And, and so th this is important work to us. And I want to say something to my white brothers and sisters. If you are at a point in your life and you're like, I don't know what to do. What do I do? I'm going to turn to this brother right here who's given his life uh, that, that risked his reputation mm. of being talked about and misunderstood so that he could be used by God as a force of love, justice, reconciliation, multi-ethnic ministry. If you're a white brother or sister and you don't know what to do, I would say follow the example of Bob Ballion. Do that. Do that. And I want you to know that this Thursday night at 7 o'clock on Facebook Live, we're going to do a special mm. time uh, I, on Facebook Live now, because we, we ain't back in the building doing nothing yet like that. But uh, some of our staff, uh, some of our worship team, and I'm going to do something called the Justice Driven Church. What does the church do in a time of, of racism, racial upheaval, racial division, uh, misunderstandings, anger, justified anger? What are we supposed to do? What is the church supposed to do? Are we supposed to protest? Are we supposed to riot? Are we supposed to yell? If you want to know what the justice-driven church does in times like these, you join me on Facebook Live, 7 o'clock this Thursday. We're going to put more information out. He, he bragged about me. I want to brag about him for one last second. Uh, when we started our church nine years ago, and Ephraim told you what we were about, what our core values were, we knew Ephraim and Donisha then. He had started a church in Minneapolis by the way, called Sanctuary, and we copied and stole a lot of what he did. And so that's how tied in we are to this. Um, it started in Minneapolis, Minnesota with this man right here, and it's been, it's been ameliorated and taken on in Sacramento, and you're a part of that. 
We love you guys. We can't wait to see you on Wednesday and Thursday and Monday and all week. We'll be talking about this. God bless you. We'll see you soon.